behind Dark Lady, the Dark Lady from David Austin is having the second flush uh, since spring, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Probably is even more beautiful than my spring flush. So I want to uh, show that to y'all. Why this one is a really great dark pink rose for the south. So uh, just check this out. Oh yeah. It's so bright right now. I don't know if I can show you. Let me adjust the brightness a little bit. You see that? It's so beautiful. It's so dark. It's a, my most favorite dark pink rose, I would say, from David Austin because of how big the bloom is, even during the summer. Let me try to block some light and show you all. And it's a very beautiful pink, really. Look at all the all the buds that's coming out. And 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 guess what? I remove. Remember, I have done my Crappy Rose series on my LD Breadway and the Royal Jubilee here. So I removed those two roses. And ever since, ever since I removed those two roses, my lady, the, the dark lady has been thrive, and like thriving. Like they have sent out lots of new growth. And I do not see that much of the black spot anymore on the dark lady. So I'm pretty sure because of the Royal Jubilee and the LD Breadway that was here last time is fighting a lot of uh, nutrition from Dark Lady and also because those those two are like the black spot magnet so it's kind of spread it to um, the Dark Lady so it's really a bad idea to put uh, so many roses close together if you are in the ground it's different than the pot okay and then if you and, and especially if you put the unhealthy uh, variety together it will really uh, spread to the entire area look at that oh gosh again unbelievable and um let me smell it doesn't have much of a smell but it has a lot of beautiful bloom and you look at all this new one that I got you still have tons and buds are coming up right now Same thing with my, uh, with my, uh, oops, uh, my, po my Poseidon is also budding up right now, but it's not yet blooming very good, so I'm not going to show you all first. But look at this. Tell me why it's not to lie about this. I think I'm probably going to cut it later. The bloom is so big, so huge. Like that. It's just so beautiful. And I, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a rose that actually uh, spread pretty big. So if you grow it, you're going to have to make sure uh, you have some space. It's not the, the variety that grow tall, it's a variety that grow wide. Not many people talk much about this rose, which I think it deserves more credit than it's up in than it has. It's a older variety, but David Austin still sell it in their website, so it's not discontinued yet. Oh, this is my the squire. Oh, look at that squire! Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. This one is uh is about just blooming. Be I will do one episode about this. Maybe tomorrow or something like that, because it's about ready to burst out. Um, here you go. See all the all the new growth ever since I removed the LD Breadway. This is amazing, really. So there you go. 
This is my lady of sh uh, sorry, the dark lady.